What's up guys, Alex from FIFA Scouting Tips here and welcome to my guide to the best cheap high potential attacking midfielders in FIFA 16. As always these are just my recommendations today, for the full article head over to fifascoutingtips.com that will have every attacking midfielder in the game with a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75 just to help keep things cheap, so now let's have a look at my recommendations. First up we've got Ryan Gould, he starts at 73 overall and has 86 potential, he is 19 years old and plays for Sporting CP, his value is £3.7 million and an inquiry will get you a price of £7 million so you can buy him for around about £6 million, his wages are £20,000 and he's on a 5 year contract, he's left footed with a 5 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves and he has the acrobat speciality and the flair trait. So this guy is only 19 but he's already super talented, he is extremely fast which will see him out pace defenders with ease, while his 79 dribbling and 91 balance means that even if he comes up against a very quick opposition player, he can dart past them thanks to his close control and low centre of gravity, and with 86 potential he's going to be incredibly good in the future. Next we have Albert Rusnak, he starts at 74 overall and has 81 potential, he's 20 years old and plays for FC Groningen, his value is £3.5 million and his inquiry is £6.5 million so you can buy him for around about £5.5 million, his wages are £20,000 and he's on a 3 year contract, he's right footed with a 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves and he also has the power free kick and flair traits. So like Gold, Rusnak is very very fast but he's also incredibly good at whipping balls into the box thanks to his 86 crossing. He's good down the middle too, a powerful shot, superb vision and accurate passes mean he can be used as an effective attacking playmaker through the centre. He's even good at free kicks so will chip in with plenty of goals of his own. And then finally we have Faris Balouli, he starts at 70 overall and has 80 potential, he's 20 years old and plays for AS Monaco, his value is £1.6 million and you can't actually get him in the first transfer window but if you inquire in January you'll get back a price of £2.9 million so you can buy him for around about £2.2 million. His wages are £15,000 and he's on a 5 year contract, he's right footed with a 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. So I've been a fan of this guy in FIFA games for a few years now because he possesses a kind of holy trinity of traits, he's got pace, strength and skill. So his pace combines superbly with his 78 strength to make him a real force in attack, he's difficult to knock off the ball and difficult to catch. Add to that his tricky dribbling, his 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves and you've got a player who can develop into an absolute nightmare for defences. So I'm now going to show you how my recommendations did after 3 years of growth, it's going to be no player training, just base growth, so remember that if you train these players they can probably do even better. Ok here we have Ryan Gould after 3 years of growth and he's up to 79 at just 22 years old, still very very fast but his technical stats are doing really well, he's got 85 dribbling, just one more point on his dribbling and he'll have the dribbler speciality, his passing is also very good so he'll be good at setting up his teammates and creating assists, he's also got 85 vision as well so that's really going to help that, he's a very very good player and still got loads of growth left, remember he's only 22 and he's got 86 potential so he could well exceed that. Next we have Albert Rusnak after 3 years of growth, he's up to 80 at 23 years old, only one more point to go to reach his potential, there's no doubt you can get him to exceed his potential quite easily, like Gold he has fantastic vision and his passing is growing nicely and that 87 crossing is going to be incredible, so so good at whipping balls in so you can play him out on the wing if you need to, he's got good pace so he's good out wide as well as playing down the centre where he can score goals and create them for his teammates. And finally we've got Faris Balouli, he's now at 77 at 23 years old, like the others not far off his potential now, his short passing has gone up to 82 and with 85 vision as well he's going to be very very good at assisting his teammates, that's the same with all these players, they seem to have done really well in their passing and vision so they'll be great at creating assists, really good playmakers, but Balouli's dribbling has gone up really well, it's on 81 now, remember he's got 4 star skill moves as well so he's going to be deadly when going forward, he's got very good agility as well and of course that strength which really sets him out from other players really good strength going forward so it's going to be very difficult to knock off the ball when he gets into the box just going to give him that extra bit of space to tuck in a shot into the bottom corner hopefully so that is it for my guide to the best cheap high potential attacking midfielders in FIFA 16. Make sure you check out the full article on fifascoutingtips.com. Like I said today I've just looked at my recommendations and on the website I've got every attacking midfielder in the game with a minimum potential of 80 and a maximum overall of 75. They've all got their prices, their wages, uh, their weak foot, all that kind of stuff, all the stats you need to know about them so you should be able to find a really good attacking midfielder for your team. Don't forget also to enter the Scouting God contest, this month is on the strongest players aged 18 or under. Um, I might 
uh, extend it a little bit or I might change it let me know because I haven't had a huge amount of entries uh, it's basically on strength in terms of the strength stat not strength in terms of how good their overall is so if you want me to extend it for a bit longer or to change it perhaps because it's too difficult let me know uh, so you can get your entries in but if you do find a good player that matches that description make sure you take a picture when they are in the academy or just after they've been promoted try and make sure there's no stat growth that will just keep it fair for everybody else you can then send that picture to at FIFA Scouting on Twitter using the hashtag Scouting God or you can submit it to facebook.com slash FIFA Scouting Tips or you can send it uh, on FIFA Scouting Tips.com itself or leave a link to the image in the comments below. That all ends at the end of November so there's still plenty of time left to enter if you found a good player. Keep all your feedback coming and any more ideas for this uh, channel. I'm trying to get through these uh, these articles on good cheap players uh, so I can start doing stuff on uh, good teams for career mode. Starting doing these articles on the website because I know they're pretty popular so I'll get started on those soon. Uh, but like I said if there's anything else you want me to do on this channel or on fifascoutingtips.com do let me know in the comments. Make sure you also leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spark beating three defenders and smashing the ball into the top of the net. That being his first goal for the club, a great way to break your duck for the team. 